So the topic of my lecture today was the uh, endometrium and blastocyst cross talk. It was a, it was a quite uh, a basic uh, lecture, not very much clinical, uh, where, we, uh, where I showed all the lectures regarding the uh, the um, intertalk that exists between the endometrium and the embryo and the blastocyst. Uh, this is a very urgent matter that it's, um, it's, it is uh, uh, studied by several years, but still there are many, many uh, points that have been to clarify it. Um, it is very important because it is very frustrating every day trying to explain to the patients uh, why the embryo does not implant. The urgent matter is that we should try to look for biomarkers that from the endometrium side and from the blastocyst side uh, can predict the right moment and the right embryo that has the highest implantation potential. Uh, the, uh, a lot of interest of in the very recent uh, uh, years, let's say in the last uh, two, three years, um, is on the uh, microRNA uh, that we can find in the spent culture media from the blastocyst cultured in vitro. Uh, it uh, is interesting some data that we published this year uh, on the fact that uh, some microarrays that are released by the embryos that we can find in the, the uh, culture media can be it could be used as a biomarker to predict the uh, blastocyst with the highest implantation potential. Uh, these findings have to be confirmed in a, a large multicenter. Um, uh, study that we are conducting together with uh, uh, the group of uh, IVF in New Jersey, one group in, in uh, Gothenburg, another one in uh, uh, King's College uh, UK, in Brussels and ourselves. When this uh, uh, study will be finished, hopefully we will have another important piece that we, will, that we could use to improve uh, the uh, implantation rate of our patients.